Welcome back to Ark, where our railings don't align, and, um... Did they ever? Yeah, they aligned on the other sides of my little <clears throat> base area, but just this one section is misaligned. And I know why. It's because the walls are misaligned going down. And this one section of roof snapped to the wall instead of to the other roof sections. I just can't be bothered to fix it. It's part of the game's charm, right? That nothing quite aligns correctly. <laughs> nothing yeah. <laughs> I cannot refute that claim. So we're prepping for a cave. I'm gonna go, I don't know, do some lurking for Carnotaurs or something in the meantime. I mean, oh, let me... What uh, part of the map is the water cave in? Uh, this one's going to be actually over by where that damn 150 giga is. I do not recall where that was. On the east side, the almost it's pretty much due east, like on the map. Compass point compass point east, probably. Okay. So dead ass Rex got murdered by some stegosaurs. Hmm. So, uh, question though, I was talking to Eric about this earlier, I can run this by you, with, uh, the next potential map, yes. with your, with your interest being more lackluster comparatively, mm -hmm. uh, I found a mod that has Herrerasaurus. Oh. <laughs> Wood and actually not only Herrera source, it has a fucking lot of things that it adds for creatures. Like pretty much just creatures, ways to tame them, things like that. Hmm. Um But because it adds just so many fucking creatures, my question is, is the inclusion of things like Herrerasaurus and like uh Oxalania and very like a lot of other dinosaurs would that improve your odds of joining us more than just for a boss or two? Not really. Okay. Then I'm not going to worry about adding that mod. It's, uh... I'd probably look at it and go, Neat! I want to get six of these and breed them, and I get five hours of entertainment from it. So... Okay. Well, some of your viewers are going to be very disappointed to hear that. Though. Yeah, so my pitch for that is you should make a YouTube VOD channel to dump your streams to. Okay. Oh, then, so they can go check it out? Yeah, I'll do I'll do a pilot episode or like four pilot episodes for like the first set of streams or whatever on the new map. I'll join you for the very start. And then we could use that to send people to the VOD channel. Gotcha. Yeah, we could try. You should be able to set it up so that you can literally just dump the stream straight from Twitch to YouTube without even doing anything. Well, I have I have an external I have an eight terabyte external like yeah. that. spacing an issue. I've just never messed with doing that kind of stuff before, so that'll be the uh, the twist. Right. Yeah, it's not too hard to just you know start and stop OBS recordings and upload that way to YouTube like I do. Mm -hmm. Or even do a tiny bit of editing if you're really ambitious. Uh, it depends. What do you use for editing? I use Shotcut. In the rare case that I do edit something. Okay. Good to know. I believe Joe also uh, supports Shotcut. That's good enough for me. I mean, you're vouch was already on the right line but uh knowing joe also stands by it, it's really reassuring yeah yeah i've usually only used it for like like if i have issues with the audio recordings i download twitch streams and chop them back up or something like that i've tried doing a few more editing edited videos but it takes so much time right i, I did upload that up Freaking Pokemon partial Nuzlocke that I had on my hard drive from like a year ago, just for content oh, the, on the, the main. The platinum one. Yeah. yeah I the, didn't watch. You said not to watch it, so I didn't watch it. <laughs> That's backfiring. It's supposed to be reverse psychology. <laughs> reverse psychology doesn't work that well on me. <laughs> yeah. 
If your if your psychology is reversed, it's just regular psychology. Right. Well, that's no good. I mean, I don't think reverse psychology <clears throat> inherently works on the lazy. Yeah. I mean, that video's got some really like. Basically, it's audio issues that ultimately killed my interest in finishing that video because, like, for whatever reason, my audio settings change halfway through the recording process, and I don't know why, and fixing the audio levels to match was annoying, and I had some other glitches in, like, the, uh, the edit. Hmm. Something with the way the shotcut save files started having some issues, like too many individual clips or something. I don't know. It was weird. But there were a few jokes and bits I liked in there, so I decided to finally just upload it. Fair enough. There's a few that aren't very good, but there's, there's you know... There's Can't some all be zingers. Yeah. Yeah, that's a... That's a fascinating proposition from you, to be honest. Mostly because, not not the idea of me actually uploading my shit, but the idea of, like, will there be carryover? Like, because, uh, Rexy Intro and who's the other one that started commenting lately, like, cheese something? Oh, I should remember my <laughs> viewers' <Yeah>. names. <laughs> you put me on the spot. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh. Big, Biggie Cheese 69. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I hope you lost uh, them all now. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, like your dedicated fan base of commentators, and you were, I remember their names closer than you did. Dude, I had a, a colleague, uh, a, another student who was gone for a little while. I don't know if they graduated and then they're coming back for a PhD now or something. And I got reintroduced to them by my, my advisor slash boss, I guess just boss now. And, uh, you know, he's like, oh, hey, you remember Sam? And I just said, no. <laughs> like a fucking. <laughs> Anti-social <laughs> piece of shit. I just go, yeah, no, I got no fucking idea. <laughs> I'm like, at least you were honest. Yeah, but I, I, I remembered. I remembered it like the second I left the room too. I walked out. I'm like, oh yeah, Sam. I remember Sam. <laughs> shit. I was just thrown by like that moment. It's like, god damn it. <laughs> I'm such a piece of shit. <laughs> It's not about <laughs> being a piece of shit. It's just like I've we've established or I've claimed before. It's you're a perfect absent-minded professor example. Yeah, which makes networking a nightmare. Yeah, that part does really hurt you. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, I should get my LinkedIn finished. Oh, I flew all the way to your base inadvertently. Oops. Uh, a little bit there, too far north. Check the whales, see what uh, what's going on there. Save if there the is. Whales. There should be uh, Olivia Munn should have be gestating. If you can tell me what the time <laughs> on that is. Hmm. I feel like there's some some sort of uh, something to read into that. That's a shark. Those I mean, she date, it's easy read. She dated Aaron Rodgers Crystal and all the Pepsi, whales. Crystal Pepsi, Orange Soda, and Grape Crush. Nice. Which yep. one was first? The grape one? Um, yes. Yep. <clears throat> Wait, why am I swimming over here and leaving my mount over there? Oh, well, fuck it. Mm -hmm. Sil, Basil, Amon Green, Olivia Bond. There it is. Yeah, I was like, I was naming all the Basilosaurs after Green Bay Packers. Ninety percent. Was... Oh, close! Damn. What's there should be a time on it though. Oh, um, four minutes thirty seconds. Okay. Hmm. Well, at least wait for that. Either you or Eric could imprint on it, just so somebody besides me has an imprinted one. Obviously, it won't reach maturity uh, during this, and ideally, we won't need it. But the fact that all three of your guys' Basilosaurs that we have um, are imprinted by me means you guys don't get the full benefits. Right. So I'm trying to change that. I sh it's just a... You can't cook off uh, mammals. Like, you can cook off an egg and say, like, here, hatch this, raise this, it's yours. 
Yeah, it's more more time intensive. That makes sense. Yeah, the alpha mammals are up running around big here too. Pain, yes. Oh, they're all over the fucking place. Fifty-five. I've just started. Believe it or not, going live and let live with fucking alphas. Because I'm high enough level that it doesn't mean anything. Doesn't help me. Alright. Then I won't take the initiative to murder it if it's your neighbor. Oh no, you can kill it. I just I hit level 100 and there's like there's no reason for me to grind XP anymore. And there's not really any reason for me to grind XP either. No, like we're near <laughs> enough to the end on this map that yeah, that's kind of what has taken away my uh, I shouldn't say desire, but like what I feel like my urge to work on this stuff is. All right. Um, let's see. There's. I do need a scuba tank. Scuba, oh, scuba, you know what I should do. I should go check this island out. Damn you! Okay, not that scuba tank. Oh, scuba and if we tank. want to play Monster Hunter, mm -hmm. we can, and Marta would actually be interested in joining for that. Oh, now she's interested because it's a group activity. <laughs> I see how it is. I think it's a case of, like, uh, if we were going to play it anyway, you know. Right. I'm I'm still down. I would very much enjoy going back to that game. I, Despite me playing it completely wrong by my, uh, I don't know, a nice way to put it. Because it's not that they're strictly sweaty. Maybe try hard? Yeah, I guess try hards. My try hard friends that play it. Mm-hmm don't like how I approach the game so it's like it took away all the interest of me to play it by my play with them and right. I got I got plenty right. of enjoyment out of my solo time in it as it was so playing wrong is good for you know channel engagement <laughs> he gets a lot of comments <laughs> totally yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's you're not wrong okay um just trying to make sure I got what got all my scuba gear. I get a lot of comments like that on the old JWE videos. Like, oh, did you know you could do this? And it's like, yeah, that, that video is six months old. <laughs> I, I know that. Now you know that. You didn't at the time. Yeah. Plus it's better to just experience it with people who are about the same experience level. Zero. <laughs> so you don't have, so have tryhards yelling at you. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Back to yeah, gaming. I... It's right. down to what kind of people you play with and whatnot. I mean, if if they're willing to learn, uh, like teach you as you go, then and, and be patient. That's oh, they're will they were perfect. willing to teach, but not patient. Okay, yeah, well, that's, I try that's and kinda, like that's kind of the deal breaker there. Yeah. I try to poke and prod and share information. I don't try to frame it as like you're doing it wrong. Do it this way when I right. play games. Uh, actually, you know what? The weird thing is, the two of them that I specifically am thinking of, it was a split. It was, one of them was impatient, and the other one was uh, a bad teacher. So, it oh, was like okay. the wrong combination. Like, one-on-one, -on -one, mostly fine, but the guy who was, like, de willing to teach wasn't patient, so he would just rush me through content. And all mm -hmm. of a sudden, we're at the end game, and I'm like, oh, I, I've learned... Not that much. Yeah, that that really ruins games for me if I get just carried by somebody and they don't bother to like. Oh, I don't. I didn't mind the carrying, but it's the fact of like when they carry and then I I don't know things like perfect, then they kind of get impatient. And they want to keep moving through content, so they go on without me. And it's like, well, you either had to be like, yeah, you had to be both. You had to be patient and teaching, not just teaching and, like, rushing me through stuff and, like, hope I pick up all of it as we do, like, five or six different fights. Because Monster Hunter, like the Dark Souls and all those other things, is basically just boss rush the game. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, everything is just a boss fight. Which isn't inherently bad. It can be fun. It's fine. Um, alright. I need to... I've is gotten... Dark Souls generally considered kind of a boss rush? I don't really. Well, maybe not. Yes, I think so. Because you uh, can still yeah. get killed by regular mobs and shit. So oh yeah, but the yes. regular mobs are like the like just doing the dungeon between bosses. They're not really. I don't. I don't consider I... them like doing levels between bosses. Yeah, I guess my argument is like, at what level 
does an RPG become a boss rush? Like, no, I don't think Dark Souls is debate. a RPG at all, though. Sure it is. It, it is. Yeah. It's it's its own subgenre of action RPG. Yeah. Uh, like, are there any stats in that game? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've never even played it. <laughs> I thought it was just like you can pick up some armor pieces, but really the game all boils down to memorize the boss fights, and that's it. It, it does, but I mean, man, I am by no means a Dark Souls fan, but. What's your it, best uh, Baryonyx saddle? I guess I have a Baryonyx. I should see what saddle it has. Just picked up a blue one. Like it, I the, the, the stats this... very subtly. Uh... Ah, it's not good. No, I think the best... I have a blueprint for like a 55 armor, Barry. Yeah, I got a 52 or 53. But like 52 on the... 7-ish. As for stats, like... Aren't the only thing that you care about leveling, and even then they barely matter, is your stamina and health? I have no depends, idea what the fine depends, points of stat level Depends on your class. Um, I mean, in Dark Souls, I, yeah, I'm not sure it really matters all that much. I've never seen it matter. Usually people... Um, like a ranged like magic class or more common is the sword and shield shit. class. Gotcha. Uh, two red drops, by the way. Ooh. I don't know which one is older, so I'm just kind of flying. Well, they're probably the sure. ones I see by the mountain, huh? <clears throat> yeah. Which, are you close are you to going one to? Of them? I'm going to the old one. They're at the limit of my range. I'm flying off to the one in the in the snow. If someone wants to get the one that's closer. Uh, is this the one? Ooh. One just one just went. Oh. Oh my God! There's three of them. All right, I'll start heading that I direction. Just... I guess. Oh, the I... one of them is gone. Doesn't seem to be anything on the Carnivore Island, so might as well head that way for a little bit. Yeah, I got around one of the mountains and I could see a third red drop. God damn it. Be a great time to have the left Florida on buff. What's the rarity of purple? Uh, below yellow. So it's basically World of Warcraft, green, blue, purple, and yeah. weird colors. Yep. Because there is a purple coming down, like, right behind uh -huh. me. Yeah, purples are kind of, yeah, purples aren't really much of interest. All right. on this detonator and megalodon. Did you, did you just get the one on the mountain? Yes, and I'm going to the other side of the mountain now. Okay. Because there should be, yep, there's another one over here. You'll probably just get them all before I get there over to get anywhere yeah. near there to help. That's why, I'm, because <clears> I'm <throat> on a Tronodon. What are you flying? I'll give you one guess. Uh-huh. <laughs> here's a clue. It's mechanically separated. Yep. <laughs> this is why we roll on flying reptiles. Speed. Yeah, but only one of us is flying on an actual dinosaur. I mean, if I could, I would, but there are no flying dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. I'm flying a flying dinosaur. You're flying an avian. Birds are dinosaurs. I want a theropod flyer. Not an avian flyer. Should have a, like a, what are this, Yi? I think it's Yi. Yi Gi, is that what it's called? What is Yi's other habit? Yeah, but that's going to be too small. <laughs> just, yeah, just carrying you around by one finger. <laughs> right. I mean, we're basically kind of getting close to that with Sinnoh. Yi with their, Kui, or how their, their, Oh, Archaeopteryx. And I want to say the dying. The Deinonychus has uh, some light gliding abilities, hmm. but certainly not enough to fly around on it. Oh, 
boy, so worth it. Good old Ark. Are there any other flying scan Soriopterings? After after day? <laughs> How do you scan Soriopterins? That sounds better. I like that. <clears throat> All right, heading home. Uh, flak helmet, I think blue. Yeah. Oh, 200 armor flak helmet though, so it's not terrible. Amboterix. Was... I've never heard of Amboterix. That's another flyer. 2015 sister tax and that. I assume also very tiny though. Yeah. Crow sized. Yeah. yeah, we're not gonna get anything bigger than an Archaeopteryx or a Microraptor. Leash them all up in a flock. And the flock carry Not in game around. though. I mean, Archaeopteryx can glide you all over the place. That's close to what I want to Ridiculous. What's ridiculous? <laughs> my, my map didn't reset, so it's still like blank and shit. I'm kind of pissed. <laughs> oh, kind of is it, is it right now. filling back yeah. in, or is it just totally bugged out? <clears throat> no, it just to it bugged out whatever happened that one crash. Well, that's that the time. worst outcome. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about... I haven't been thinking about that until just now I've forgotten. Um, yeah, I guess we, we go to the new map and we hope that does something for you. If that try doesn't, a, uh, try, yeah, try, repair. yeah, do a well, I mean, verify cache. Oh, maybe I should do that, yeah. That, because that also ties into whenever, if I have like multiple crashes, uh, over the course of a session or, you know, or even a couple of sessions, I will do a verified game cache because just that is the the mm -hmm. way of ARC. It, even to other games, like, it fixes stuff sometimes and you don't expect it to. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Well, I do expect it to. I, well. It's more, I'm on the opposite side where if it doesn't fix stuff, I'm more angry. <laughs> it just fucking verified this shit. Well, sometimes you get issues just like game stability or something and you're like... Why is this game being a piece of shit now? And you do a verify the install and repair some files that you didn't even know were busted and it just works better. And you're like, what the fuck? Yep. Is that broke? Okay, but I will give you this because of what we're uh, about to undertake and where we have to hang out. I actually will probably be taking my Argent over to the coast because I am sketched out by that Giga. Like it, we should be far enough south of it because it is kind of, it's kind of northwest, kind of aligned <laughs> with the uh, the mountain there, and where mm -hmm. we're going is going to be closer to the swamp. Not that that's a particularly appealing thing either, but. I think we'll be okay. Right. All right, so I'm grabbing a bunch of meat. I'd say feel safe to grab yourself like a, well, you're out exploring. Eric, you might want to grab like a, just a full stack of cooked hundred. There's, there's plenty of it. Then we can split mm -hmm. some with Jesse when we get there. We shouldn't need anything else with the gear that we'll have. Uh, I'll grab the saddles. We're all gonna. Oh, make sure you have your basilosaur. In fact, I say that, and I should make sure I have mine too, because I haven't seen it. Although I guess I can take any one of them. That's not really a problem. Mm -hmm. There's TJ Lang here, which I could grab, but I feel like I have another one. I mean, I know they'll all be in. Oh shit! Did somebody get that? The one that uh, got birth? Not I. Uh, not yet, no. Alright, who's closest to my house? That's all that matters. Probably Jesse. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, we'll Where have you ended up, Jesse? I am... Smack dab in the north middle. Like, on the coast. Way up in the ice. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Eric's closer then, so yeah. that's... 
I'm actually Control surprised how far north I ended up over here. Or how far west I ended up, rather. Mm -hmm. You should probably start heading back. Yeah, you should. Because we'll probably be ready to start the uh, cave in the next episode. Yeah. Okay. On my way. Back. Yes. Um, crossbows, definitely for this, because we'll be underwater, and that's the only working, uh, weapon underwater. Uh, I have no non-trank arrows on me. Alright, well, there's a cubic fuckton of arrows in the, in Sparkle's house. There's 300 in my base, too. I'll probably okay, just stop or... there on the way home. Yeah, just yeah. grab those, then. I can spy these carnos real quick, that'd be great, though. Five. Yeah. So that's... Hmm. So I'm gonna have to snag a Basilosaurus, cause... That's fine. Uh, yep, the baby is here, underneath, so... Yeah, I'm on my way. So 154. I will move the other ones out of the way. It's a good one though. 54 is a good hat, or a good, uh... Right. Good hand. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I put it. Sorry, I yeah, distracted. Um... No, oh, that's gonna have to do. So where in the hell did mine go? I can't remember who I was, uh, riding around for the Solosaurus. Two level 95 Alpha Raptors by your place. Yep. At least between yours and ours. Yeah. <clears throat> and another Alpha thing. 16 Raptors. Well, still no word back from Sparkle, so yeah, we just continue to go as planned. Mm -hmm. Exciting. 120. Not quite worth it. <clears throat> Damn. None of you assholes. Oh, there's some. I got only a little bit, though. Oh, uh, it's out in the uh, big area. Okay. Right out here. The lagoon. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the. My area is the moon pool, this is the lagoon. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this little pink guy here. Um, I'm gonna go get some food for it, though. No. Ooh, 150. Neato. Unfortunately, that. I guess how quick can you get it down? We're gonna find out. Well, I might have to help it fight off this entire horde of Kentrosaurs. One fifty one scorpion. It's a big score.
Oh no, a Rex is coming too. for you. There you go. Let's see, can I get you stuck somewhere? That'd be nice. Oh my god, there's another fucking Rex. Can't be that far in the cold right now, or are you on your way back? I'm on my way back. Oh, you going over there? Yeah, this one's actually near base. No, I can't fucking uh, land a hit Carlos, on this thing. Caro's near base? Yeah. Uh, grab a Quetz. Go drop it off. Put it right in the taming pen, man. I almost got it. Oh, stop Funny running away, you shit. But it's safer there, like, no risk of anything going wrong. That's a perfect carno. You don't want the thing to get hit randomly while you're, after it's knocked out. That ruins uh, yeah, levels. Yeah, I don't know how the, uh, cats work, so. The same way the Argent does. You fly, you pick stuff up. Fuck. Well, right now I'm chasing it down because I'm losing track of the bastard. Shit, where'd it go? Like, do you not pick stuff up with your Argent? Not usually, because the one fucking around. Fuck, where did it go? It ran into the damn trees. Shit. Man, it's a shame somebody didn't, like, pick it up and drop it somewhere where it couldn't escape. Well, I didn't think you would fucking make a break for it that badly. I thought I'd take it down. They always... Uh, higher levels mean that they have way more stupidity before they go unconscious. I mean, they run at a same proportional level, so... Right, they run at a percentage of torpidity, so, like, the amount you need to actually get them KO'd changes. Also doesn't help that fucker's camouflage. God damn it. <laughs> Shit! Where are you going, Rex? Are you chasing the Carno too? Shouldn't be. No, don't think so. Okay. We're gonna try and make sure nothing happens to this thing. Okay, what's going on over here? Okay. Plenty of raw meat, both. The, its inventory and in the feeding trough. Fuck. Over. Didn't expect him to get away that damn fast. Oh well. Yeah, it just would have ended up dead in the river like the rest of them anyway. No, that's prime breeding stock. You say that to all the ladies. Wait. Thirty-five. Fucking bitch. But you say that to all the ladies. Very breedable. Submissive and breedable. Mm, it's a Carnotaurus, so I would never describe it as submissive. How in the fuck? I wonder if it fucking killed itself or something stupid. 
I lost it like right when it went over a fucking cliff. Wait, they don't die, they don't take fall damage. All these other fucking predators around won't leave me alone so I can even search for this thing properly. <sighs> Whatever. Really? You're gonna keep following me? I'm in the fucking air, you idiot. I'm flying away from you. Fuck off. Where's my bird? There he is. You know what? Pretty convenient that the bird's pink. <clears throat> Suddenly he sees the light. <laughs> Shoot. Well, that was a massive waste of time. Didn't have to be. I would have never found it again if I'd uh, went over to get the cats. I mean, we also could have got the quets and uh, brought it over. Could have helped you. That's uh, why we're not playing single player. You just would have had to keep an eye on it while somebody else grabbed it for you. You just have to ask. Yeah, already cheesing this shit so much with flyers in the first place. I mean, the grabbing things with the quets has like is a not quite day one, but it's like in the first year of this game, like yeah. early, first couple months. It's an intended mechanic. Yes, very yep. very much so. <laughs> in fact, I want to. Oh no, I don't remember because I did miss the first couple months of the game. So I don't know if they were ever able, in their early release, to pick up anything as crazy as Rexes and stuff. I know they... Oh, no, they can still pick up Owls. Alright, well, since that fell through, we can head to the cave. Yeah, I'm just trying again to find it, but... It's nowhere near. Alright, let's make sure I have... Who the fuck is this? Oh, I already got it. Okay. Alright, everybody grab from the uh, the precious keepsakes a Ascendant Basilosaur saddle. Is that not what we had before? <laughs> no, before we have like a Journeyman the purple. We're going all the way to light blue. Coming through. He orgasms when he's in hot and when he's in massive heat. I mean, oh. he, of course he does. He's in heat. You just a lot of action, action <laughs> uh, right outside Eric's base right now with this pack of allosaurs running around. 55, 10, and 50. Okay. Well. Crap, crap, crap. The action is only temporary, because they will probably be killed by something. Or they'll kill many things. It's a tough call with those. Alright, actually, I will grab all the saddle. I've, I've just got them. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Makes that a lot easier. I am going to preemptively craft all our bed stuff. I'm way too far north. What am I doing? Wait. That's not Eric's base. I'm completely turned around. That's just the. Uh... Yeah, if you're north, you're near. Yeah. No, it's the just just a wall. I think that's just the river barrier. I was thinking of. It's more near my base than anything. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Good. Fuck it. Check it. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
that yellow drop. Oh. It's cool, Swizzle. So grab it. Mm -hmm. It's on the way. Shit. And it's rain. That'd be cool. <laughs> Send in Pike and a ramshackle air nail saddle. Nice Pike, at least. No. Yeah. Should have muted. You're fine. For the video. No one's gonna mind that you make normal bodily functions. Like Christ, I, half the videos I already watch with us, I'm yawning through the whole fucking videos. <laughs> Says some terrible things about my posture. <laughs> Hmm. All right, food, arrows, melee. Aye, aye, aye. You know, I can't go through these blueprints right now. Fuck it, I'll just toss them in here. Yep, I'm heading over. Blueprint. Uh, arrows is all I think I had to grab, right? Because you got the saddles. Yep. And make sure you have your basilosaurus cryoed. Yes. And scuba tank mask and maybe f flippers. Yeah. Flippers aren't a huge deal. I have all that stuff. The uh it's gonna be 50, that's for sure. It's, I don't know. It's gonna be close to like 50, 80, I believe. And that's oh, always the, the where position. we'll meet on the shore. Uh, 50 lat. I'm just looking at my GPS. Yeah. I have gone beyond the use of simple maps. I still prefer the map, because it's a little easier for me to like point myself when I'm actually traveling. G GPS is good for calling out your position, though, for sure. The problem for me is most of this island I know just by landmarks and just where being where the thing is. Right. So, like, trying to, uh... The map thing throws me off a little bit. Oh, Eric crashed. Oh, jeez. That doesn't bode well. Doesn't bode well at mediocre. All right, I'm gonna get my bacil water at least. I'm gonna go buy myself my switch this week. I got my capture card. Nice. I guess that one's already been collected. Capture card's what I'll need. God damn it, yeah, how long do we have? I wasn't even thinking about that. Till, uh, Scarlet Violet? Yeah. I, I want to say that was November? Maybe October? It, it should be, because I always remember the new releases coming out around, uh, deer hunting season, because yeah. I'd get in trouble for being more excited for... Pokemon than deer hunting. <laughs> so. I like both, but one's more exciting to me. Or right, one's more exciting and all the build up, the other one's exciting in the moment. 
Right. Hunting is ex hunt is like a lot, a lot, a lot of boring times, and then punctuated by crazy amounts of adrenaline and excitement. Then your Carnotaurus runs over a cliff, and you lose track of it. <clears throat> Something like that. All right, I'm at the swamp border. Okay. Well, uh, you're gonna be want to be more up on the beach. Yeah, so it's on, like, the ocean side of the swamp here? Yeah. Yeah, this cave is gonna be deep water, so... Okay. Now, I was thinking I'd do maybe, like, a sword shield nuzlocke or something as a test to get the all the switch stuff working. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna tank up. And go and actually make sure. Oh wait, I don't have my tank. What am I talking about? I should get that off my damn bird. Well, this one just kind of goes right into the ocean. All right. Don't want to. I don't want to build the respawn Oops. base before we where it is, because there isn't a nice cliff like the other one to just know where to go. Although I was close because I found the kelp, and the kelp is the indicator that you're near the cave. Shit, I'm on a stam already? That sucks. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck did it go? Just a ocean going caprosuchus over here. It's a salty. Yeah, so I'm, uh. Pretty much at the halfway point of the beach side of the swamp. Sorry, I'm still trying to find the actual cave entrance. Uh, where I'm actually- oh, hold on, let me deal with some sharks and shit. Actually dealing with a lot of shit. Here comes the jellyfish, which, you know, I'd be more concerned about if I was not a fucking whale! can't do shit to me. You know, without Sparkle here, having a, what do you got? What level are you, asshole? Come on, show me a level already. Well, this Baryonyx one's. Onyx is chasing down that Diplocallus in the ocean. Oh, what level is the Diplocallus? Uh, it looks like it might have been eighty. Holy shit! Fifty-five. Uh, no wait, oh. the berry is fifty-five. Diplocallus is eighty. Yes. Ah, uh, fuck no, no. God damn it, I'd really want that. I do really want it, but now's not the time. Well, I'll at least go see if I can take out the berry and keep it alive. Yeah, you can't. You can try, but everything tries really hard to kill Diplocallus. Oh, I think it's literally too late. I think it just died yeah. right in front of me. Yeah, they usually do. They are very, very weak. Oh, there's your bird on the shoreline. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, you're close then. Uh, Baryonyx actually almost made it to you, <laughs> chasing Damn. that Diplo. Yeah, that's that's their defense, is just hauling ass. That's all they got. Am I further away than I thought, then? Must be. Okay. You guys can feel free to join me in the water. Yeah, I'm just gonna get some food for the bird first. It's got nothing in its right. inventory. I crashed again, so I'm kind of a third time. Uh, this There's... yeah, second one today. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, you might want to. I think just killed a 151 dodo. <laughs> Damn. I might want to think about doing the uh, verify game cache if yeah. it's going this badly. You really do not want to crash while we're in the cave. This it's is it's uh, bad for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Are the saddles in your inventory, or do you got some stash on the bird? They're in the bird. And just put your old saddle uh, in the bird. It'll be fine. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, my bird... My Argents are like a mobile fortress for me. I only take them out when I'm doing heavy shit. Wait, where's the Go. saddle? Am I blind? They should be right near the top, yes. unless you're not sorting Extremely by alphabetical. Extremely blind. It's the blue threw me off. Again, uh, the problem with the blue rarity. It's like, saddle will have a color around it. This is a primitive. What the fuck? percent on my tank and I still haven't even found the entrance oh yeah that's right here is a thing that matters <laughs> yeah I need that I would have figured it out eventually <laughs> Cleostes. Great at harvesting oil and metal. Shame they're slow as dicks. Oh, okay, found it. I was going way too deep. Oh, coming back. Uh, it is at 45.89. Stubbornly swim around blindly until I find you and refuse to open up my map. And we were not far down the river from it. In fact, there's that berry. Is it this big ass cave? Yes. Like, alpha mosasaurs and shit can be in there, so that needs to have a pretty wide opening. Where'd you go? Are you in the cave? I'm up, or? No, I, I'm up on the shore. Oh, okay. Cave lighting's a bit weird. I wouldn't go in there by yourself, man. Oh, sharks see me. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. Like, things can be up to level 300 in there. I ain't afraid of nothing. Oh, fuck sharks. Sharks are the least worrisome thing you need to be looking for. Yeah, the lighting is super wacky here. It keeps switching between, like, water filter and not water filter. It's like a JWE lagoon. It's literally just in the fucking ocean. I think I'll be fine. What? Well, why? Because if you're cold, then you can't be hot. Oh, that's... That's science. Speaking of science, Fireteam, I logged in and 
looked at some of the new stuff. They got a bunch of new cosmetics, including a lab coat. So I'm going to be lab coating it up the whole time. God damn it, how are you going to take that away from me? <laughs> Oh, yeah, Wait, can you change colors on the coats? No. Oh. Then what's the point? <laughs> I got the storage cabinet. I also do. Oh, you have the one out of the bird, you mean? No, I mean I was making one, but you have oh. one of the bird? Yep. Oh, well, too late I made one. Oh, well, multiple isn't a bad idea. I'll toss my materials in here if you need anything to build anything. Yeah, that's fine. Yo, did we verify cash, Jesse or Eric? Yeah, he was oh. missing two files, or, well, two files failed to validate. Damn, well, that was quick at least. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. <laughs> oh fucking a! I didn't bring my tools. Or no, I did bring them. Never mind. They're on the. They're on my dude. We're good. <laughs> Do you put stuff? Did you drop some stuff off on my uh, bird, Jesse? Well, I put the saddle in there. That's about it, I think. There's a second sickle in here. I definitely didn't do that. That's weird. Maybe I was already... Eh, that might be on me. That might be another one of my sickles, and I didn't realize it was in here. It seems strange, but I guess it's possible. Oh, no, no. Damn, I did just realize one thing though, since we don't have sparkle in this cave, there's a thought, well, no. If this goes poorly, if we do not manage to pull this off, also, where are you at on the recording, Jesse? We are at 59 minutes. Good okay. place to pull the plug, but I figured we let Eric get over here first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if it goes sideways, another thing I can do to try and uh, improve our odds on a subsequent run is uh, breed up some of our Megalodons because they get a pack bonus so they're not a bad thing to just have following you as DPS. Right. And we do have some decent Megalodon saddles, I believe. Froggy. <laughs> Don't get Froggy with me. <laughs> that was Ham's mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yep, right up until he croaked. Ah. <laughs> sure. Level 60 frog. 
I've had better. Reset the map. Oh, that's a good sign or not. No, hey, what up, oh, Demetrodon? You can see your map again? No, it, it, it re reset it again. It's all completely blank except for where, where I am right now. Oh, I thought it was completely blank before, though, too. Yeah, but if it, is it loading the map now, though? Actually updating? It was probably like the original map file yes. corrupted or something, so you just got to rebuild it from scratch. That is a bummer, but if it wasn't re uh, reveal, if it wasn't revealing after the last crash, then at least now it proved point. The, it, the issue with the first crash was it wiped everything, right? <clears throat> like uh, on the map. Yeah, but it did it start refilling in then after that? Yes, it did. Oh, uh, I was under the impression it didn't do that at all. Like it yeah, was I, I also thought like, that's what you were saying. No, no, it was, it was filling the map fine. Just I, all my uh, pins were gone. Oh, uh, uh, gosh. Yeah. It's, it's how I kept track of where everything was. Right. Right. I put one of those on my map and then immediately forgot how they worked. <laughs> No, don't run into the water. Oh, it's a female shit. Um. Get out of the ground. You dumb? You're gonna die. Which bacill am I taking? Uh, whichever. You should have a cryopod. Don't you? Do I? You should. Well, from the last cave, everybody had one back then. Oh, that's right. I did not grab it. And there will be an ascendant. No, saddle. I killed it. Fuck. I didn't realize it collapsed. Oh man. Boo. Boo, Dimetrodon. Boo. What did you? You collapsed? No, the Dimetrodon collapsed right when I fired the last dart at it, and it killed it. Oh, no, you are not going to get a t Dimetrodon tamed with a crossbow. I, yeah, I was using crossbow. What? Yeah, it's going to kill it. No, it collapsed before I fired the last dart, like a second oh, before. Oh, so you hit it? So I hit it and killed it with an extra dart. I had it downed. It actually worked. That's impressive. You must have really been laying on the tranquilizers on that thing. It was only level 10, it was like 6 darts, something like that. Or the other problem is... Pretty the dark. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Quoting any card. He's so slow. Ah, that one like, died straight. It's like, what do you mean if you shot yourself in the foot? Don't do that. You'll be dead before <laughs> you feel the prick of the dart. Exactly. Get the dart. <laughs> Man. Yeah, because it was clipped into the ground. So before, right before I fired the last dart, I saw the E for inventory pop up. I was like, fuck no! <laughs> hmm. Not that it matters. No. Not right now. Or in general. I don't really care about that <laughs> I was going to name it Kenner. Poor little Kenner is dead now, just like in real life. Should name my crossbow Hasbro. There you go.
Not today, copy. I mean, I'll kill you if I have you. Ichthy, go away. Only a level 40, you mean nothing to me. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing something pretty ill-advised, though. Thinking about going against my own advice. You gonna buy an M NFT or something? Jeez. <laughs> no, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> I mean, I'm a moron, but come on, man. No, I'm gonna go and see if I can't kite something out of the uh, cave entrance. Mm. Yeah. There were a batch of like four sharks. That was the first thing I saw in there. Yeah, I see him too. Come on, morons. Come and get me. Or at least one of you. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm not going to make it out of here in time. Putting on the scuba. Nope. That was the idea. I was going to not put on my scuba tank and waste time. But I actually kind of need levels on my Basilosaur. That's what I'm kind of doing this for. Right. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Four sharks, Jesse? Four? That's... How many did you bring? <laughs> I'm counting a baker's... Do well, okay, a dozen right now. Half a dozen. <laughs> like, there are... Yeah, six sharks, Jesse. You need some backup? I'm just... I'm kiting them out, so we'll, we'll deal with them. Kind of like how I was thinking I was going to do. Oh, yeah. I should probably put my air tank on. Yeah, I took mine. I'm taking mine off because I want to conserve. I'm just kiting him out. Come on, you idiots. Where are you gonna... You just, just get him out of there. Pulling them away from the entrance so you don't pull more, basically? Mm-hmm. hitting hard too. I took a 154 from one of these things and that's with that ascendant saddle on. There you are. Yeah, I'm going up for air. Oh, I'm up for air. Okay. I'm just porpoising it now. Here they come though. Yep. I'm right next to you. Okay. Uh, Eric, are you at your... Do you have your thing, by the way? Yeah. Okay, never, never mind. We're good. We're good. Me and Jesse went close enough. I was like, man, I hope we have uh, multiple genders going here for the mm -hmm. main boost. But we do. Yeah, Jesse has Robert Tanya, and I should have just looked at the name. <laughs> 200 Megalodon. Yeah, yeah, that was the asshole that hit me for fucking 154. Hmm. Never mind, now I know who hit me for 154 through this saddle. 300! <laughs> Mother! Just, just keep going. Oh, that's caves for you, man. It's only gonna get worse in there, especially because we can run into, I believe, a theoretical level 300 alpha mosasaur and things like that are possible. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be pleasant. That's why I was kiting those assholes out of there. Okay, Sparkle's on the way. Alright. Well, why don't we end this episode here until we're uh, ready for cave times, I guess.